Hey everybody, we're here in the Argenta Arts District of North Little Rock and we're at one of the locals' favorite places to grab a cup of coffee and a bite to eat. It's called Mugs Cafe and Amanda assures me it's not just about the coffee. She says they've got great food as well. We're about to find out. You ready? Yeah, let's eat it up. Let's go. This is my coffee shop. I get their French toast and vanilla latte. Okay. What do you like about this place? I mean, you brought your son here, so obviously it's a cool little family place or? Close to home. Yeah. It's just the atmosphere that I love about this place. Do you like the coffee or the food better? Both. No. <laughs> yeah. Mugs is different because we kind of have a little bit of everything for everyone. It started with the idea of rooting it in Argenta. So we really focus on serving this community and Argenta is growing literally by the day and you know, there's really a spot for everybody here. I love coffee, Rob, you not so much. Not so much, I'm more <laughs> of like an energy drink kind of guy. Sydney, what's something that a coffee lover would love and a non-coffee lover might still love? For you, I'm definitely gonna do the Thai latte. It's got a little bit of sweetened condensed milk, so it's still gonna taste like coffee okay. with a little bit of cardamom. Mm, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. for the crazy guys who don't like coffee. All right, for you, I'm gonna do a lavender lemon iced tea. Okay. We use a pink out syrup right now, they're local. This is so good. So they have something for both of us, Absolutely. coffee lovers and not. Good stuff. Let's eat the food. That's what we came here for. Come Help on, eat it up, go. not drink it up. <laughs> People really love the uh, tacos that we serve for breakfast. Uh, everything's house made, down to the sausage. Then we have little staples like our Cuban sandwich and the French dip sandwich, and we even serve burgers. It's almost like a southern diner type feel. Um, with kind of like a modern twist on it. I come here every day. It's a secret sauce. Today we're gonna do a chorizo, sun-dried jalapeno, red onion, tomato, and mushroom omelet. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot, but it all sounds what? good. What's all the right. key to making such a good omelet? Uh, patience. And make sure your eggs are super fluffy. Around the corners, you're looking for that curl up, and then you can pick it up, flip it. Move the fruit out of the way. <laughs> don't need any of that healthy stuff. Yeah, we don't need the healthy stuff. This omelet just exploded in a good way. It did. Oh my god. You good? That's really good. For the second time in the history of Beat It Up, I found the secret to the sauce. I want to know what it is. Carrots. That's all I'm going to say. Carrots. <laughs> you get drizzle for shizzle. The drizzle method. But I saw a guy back there who had four of them, but he was a pro. <laughs> Are the non-coffee drinkers crazy? You can tell me. I would have to say yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah.